Hi there, today I want to just show you a very quick way of how you can check whether your broker is an ECN stroke STP non dealing desk broker. All you've got to do is you go to this icon over here that says new order, you click on it, and where it says this drop down here where it says type, you'll hit you'll have market execution and obviously pending order now for the ECN broker it will be market execution so this shows that this broker is an ECN broker now if you're looking at a a um, market maker then what will happen is you will see in that same block where it says type it'll say instant execution and then the other thing that you want to check is your um, pending orders so it'll either be your buy limit sell limit um, but what you really want to be looking for is where it's what it says over here if it says the open price you set must differ from the market price by at least zero points it must be zero then you'll know that this is an ECN broker as well. Right, if your pending order comes up with this message over here that says there must be at least X amount of points um, from the market price, then you'll know that this is a market maker. maker. So that, those are two ways that you can easily check to see whether your broker is an ECN or a market maker type of broker. All right, so why do you want to have um, you know these type of brokers? All right, I'm just going to quickly go through some of the things or the uh, uh, tricks that the market maker uh, brokers try and play on you. And these are some of the things that the the market maker brokers will try and do on your account um, in order for them to make more money out of the um, out of the process. So essentially, what they do is, uh, and I'm sure a lot of you will have seen that this actually occurs in your everyday trading. They'll widen spreads, large amounts of slippage, stop hunting slow execution so they slow the feed right down and then what they also use is there's algorithms which are written into the MetaTrader platform or they have plugins that they can um, put onto the, the platform that will then work against you as the trader and essentially will cause you to um, you know lose on your trades or have less of a profit on your trades and I mean why do these type of brokers want to do this well effectively what they're doing is they use a thing called or a process that they use is called B booking and what that means is that it's not a real market they're making the market ie the word market maker so they the the market that you are seeing that you actually see on your platform is not being passed on or the trades are not being passed on to the liquidity providers and what they're doing is they're internalizing the trade it looks as if it's being um, traded on the real market but it isn't and what happens is they then basically take those trades internalize them and essentially what happens is any of the trades um, that are taken where you make money is basically a loss of theirs and where you losing they gaining so it's it's a very crooked way of, of doing business and and what you want to try to do is steer clear of these type of brokers here are some more things that you can um, look at uh, to identify if your broker is actually a, an ECN uh, slash STP type of broker um, and if they are actually conducting their business um, in an ethical manner and I'm not saying that all 
uh, market maker uh, brokers are uh, you know unethical and and use these type of tactics against you but a large percentage of them do and I'd say probably about 90% of the brokers that are out, out there that are market makers in some form or fashion will trade against you and pull those those type of tricks in it that I that I mentioned before so what you want to be looking for is um, and these are the the type of things when you're choosing your broker is if they have um, fixed spreads right then these are how to identify the um, the broker as a market maker um, if they have a high leverage so if they offer you anything over say a hundred to one what they're wanting to do is to get you to trade um, with with basically more risk and uh, blow your account quicker they also offer trading bonuses that basically will entice you to trade on their platform but it locks you in as well they'll also offer very low spreads with no commissions and often they use the um, wording that they'll use is from zero pips so you think you're trading with um, a very very low spread almost zero um, the problem is when you actually look at the spreads on the platform they're nowhere near zero and when they execute you they don't execute you at the price that you that you're looking at what they'll also do is if you are looking um, if you've had a trade and there's a dispute and you're looking for a trade report on the actual uh, or query that you're having on your trade they will never offer you this information because as I said it's being internalized and they they cannot show you the actual trade that was passed on to the liquidity provider if you are with a true ECN broker or an STP broker they will be able to provide you with the detail of of those trades when the trade was taken uh, at what at what price it was taken and where you were filled and with which liquidity provider you were filled the other thing to look out for is the regulation a lot of these brokers are not regulated with um, very respected regulatory uh, authorities and yeah I'm just it's it's uh, it's a sad state of affairs but a lot of these brokers go with the very uh, the easier um, method of, of, of getting regulation and a lot of these brokers that you find that are market makers have gone that route and they normally have a SISEC um, regulation which is um, based in Cyprus what you want to be looking for is more the um, bigger uh, or better regula regulatory bodies um, or with the uh, say the FCA or the FSA they, then, they also give a lot of um, requotes, so you'll often see when you're trying to trade, they slow the execution down, there's requotes, re and also when you're trying to withdraw money, they'll normally draw the whole process out, it takes a long time for you to you get the, the money out, and um, they'll, they'll delay those withdrawals, so that's another sign. Um, most of these type of brokers are also white labels for other, say, larger broker so they'll use the um, infrastructure of the larger broker um, and then they plug into the that broker's feeds and they white label it a lot of these type of brokers also um, will, will tell you one thing but do another thing so there's a there's a huge lack of of transparency and, and trust and you'll often find that um, their call centers they do not have an in-house call center it's normally farmed out um, you know, to to another organization maybe overseas sitting in India wherever so it's it's um, it's a lot cheaper for them to do that and then you'll see that um, some of the brokers then will also use a hybrid type of system so they will 
segregate their clients. So they, they, they look at the trading, uh, the way the traders um, trade and how successful they are, and then they profile these traders and they have various means of working with these traders. So um, a lot of the time if they, they see that you, you are part of the group of traders that are losing, they will then essentially just be book you and trade against you. Um, with the clients that are possibly good traders and they want to look after them, they'll, they'll give them um, a, maybe a better ex execution um, and then they, they could even take the same trades um, as, as these traders um, and or they could, again, slow the feeds down and make it really uh, difficult for these traders to be successful. So, in any event, what they do is they wait, they look at the various um, types of traders, and the process is then weighted in their favor so that they will come out 80 to 90 percent of the time, or if not higher, uh, they will, will, it will be weighted in their favor um, for them to make money. Right, so now lastly, um, I've done a lot of research, I've been in, in the business for, for many, many years, 15 years, over 15 years, trading as a full-time professional trader, and I've seen a lot of brokers, um, especially on, on MetaTrader, who have taken advantage of many, many traders. Um, recently, I was invited to go overseas to Sweden, uh, Stockholm, Sweden, to um, have a look at uh, a brokerage firm there. Very impressed with what they um, have to say and the way that they do business. Very ethical bunch of people, um, and I was just really, really blown away with with their vision of how they are actually looking to expand this market, but in a very ethical manner, and to do the um, basically the uh, execution. And the way that they do business is is at another level. They are really very, very uh, trustworthy. Um, obviously, you will have to see if you if you want to have a look at this broker. Do your research. Don't take my word for it. But I would suggest check them out, have a look at them, and um, make your own decision. But make an informed decision. The name of the company is called Scandinavian Capital Markets. As I said, they're located in um, Stockholm, Sweden. They're, they're a prime STP broker. Um, they have a solid regulation with the um, FSA, the Swedish Financial Supervisory Authority. There's their registration number. They're a global prime brokerage, so they deal with top tier one liquidity providers that go through they get the liquidity from the likes of Goldman Sachs, Barclays, Deutsche Bank, Bank of America, all very reputable. They offer true segregated accounts. And many of these brokers don't offer the, um, these type of accounts. What, what happens is they offer you an account and they say it's segregated, but it's not. What they're doing is, is they essentially taking that money and a lot of the time that money is used um, for operations of the company. They only deal with the top banks, so um, some of the top banks in Europe. Um, these are uh, some of them here, Sweet Bank, Nordea Bank, and SEB. The execution is ultra fast, so I mean, whether you are scalping or trading um, at, a, at a high level, uh, you know, lots of volume, you'll be filled, and it's an instantaneous fill. So it goes direct to market. There's no um, you know, third parties and that goes straight through to their providers the, um, and here the the um, infrastructure that they use they've got execution uh, speeds down to um, 10 milli milliseconds and they connect to Equinox uh, NY4 data center now if you're a um, money manager or you're looking for specific liquidity solutions and you want to customize that they can assist you with that very flexible um, and and they can tailor it to the client specific needs as I said they have low spreads and low commissions um, transparency is very big 
they are looking to gain the trust of of the traders and they can definitely um, on demand give you receipts of your uh, trade and who executed the trade at what time and with which uh, bank or liquidity provider full transparency professional traders have access to the actual raw spreads um, plus yeah, your commissions that's how they make their money on their commissions um, withdrawals of, of fast and efficient so you have an on-demand withdrawal and MAM accounts are available multi uh, account manager you can have unlimited um, if you're a money manager you have unlimited uh, customer accounts that you connect to your MAM accounts and they can uh, the solutions for the um, exchange uh, technologies are really of a superior nature and um, they have a uh, back office uh, to manage your risks trade activities positions and settlements so you can be assured there's going to be no requotes no delays between your trades as they have a central processing system one click um, order entry uh, it's available on NT4 and a GUI interface and they allow expert advisor trading um, and you can have multi uh, master accounts as well as um, the uh, different strategies that you can trade on the EAs uh, there's no dealing to dealing desk so you do not have any conflict of interest when you're trading through this broker and as I said yeah we've just seen how they um, how you can double check them on a live account obviously when you're doing that check when you're checking for market execution and zero um, pip points between the um, market price and the open price uh, you need to do that on, on a live account um, whenever you're checking uh, for an ECN broker anyway I will leave a um, link at the bottom that you can uh, click on and that will take you through to the, the the website through to Scandinavian capital markets website and you can have a look at what they uh, have to to offer and go through the, the the website and check all the information for yourself but I can vouch for them I really believe that they are going to change the way that uh, trading is done and how it can be done in an ethical manner. That's all for now. Cheers. Bye.